Starting Friday, people with type 1 diabetes and another risk condition for COVID can start getting vaccines. The Children's Diabetes Foundation and the Barbara Davis Center were key in pushing to get those patients who are 16 to 64 into that group. CBS 4's Dominic Garcia explains the need. Samantha Bazin is an actress, a director, and a type 1 diabetic. I can't really remember anything before being diagnosed. Diagnosed at four years old, Samantha has been tracking her blood sugar and administering her own insulin most of her life. It doesn't mean that it's going to limit what I can do. It's just something that I have to, um, you know, take account of. She's even made a movie about life with diabetes as a way to raise awareness. But Samantha has been anxious since COVID started last year. I've had the flu before and it was brutal. A viral infection or really any illness can wreak havoc with her blood sugar levels. We're extra at risk with viruses and just being sick in general. When the data came out this summer that indicated that people with type 1 were at the same risk or maybe even greater, that was a surprise to a lot of us. Diabetics in the black and Hispanic communities are at the highest risk of ending up in the hospital and having severe outcomes with COVID. I think that the, the decision to include people, all people with diabetes in this current group, the 16 to 64, with diabetes plus one other condition off the list um, is a really good decision. That means Samantha is eligible to get the shots. I have other autoimmune diseases in addition to type one. Samantha's thrilled and she sees light at the end of this pandemic tunnel. I'm Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.